welcome to Morfolio Board. In this video, we'll cover how to use Swatchmaker. We're gonna give an intro, show you how to find shapes, pick colors, edit your swatches, and get color data, and lots more. Let's get started. Let's say you're you know, already starting. Uh, maybe your board isn't quite as finished as this one, um, but you're starting with a board, you've sort of got the concept, um, but you're ready to add that detail about color. This is the swatch maker tool over here, this icon. I'm gonna hit that icon and you're gonna get a swatch maker menu. So what's cool about swatch maker is that we've offered lots of different beautifully designed uh, shapes. So you can really pick the style that kind of works best for your board. Um, you can also turn on and off the color information. So Swatchmaker is one of the only uh, mobile tools that will give you this um, color info right in your mood board, which is useful because ultimately we have to turn these colors into um, other things in the world. So you can choose if you work in RGB, if you work in CMYK, if you work in hex, you can see that color data updating there. And if you'd rather have you know, just a clean um, color, you can always take that off. So let's say we're working with hex today. Um, and maybe for this board, we wanna go with a kind of blue, mid-century modern blue feeling here. Um, you can choose from your sliders. You can choose from a grid. If you're feeling lucky, maybe there's something there for you. Um, or you can go to a full spectrum. So if you're kind of still experimenting with maybe what that accent color wants to be, it's a good way to surf around and kind of discover something that works for you. So I'm gonna go with this nice blue. Let's close that and we're gonna add that to the board. There it shows up. You can scale it as needed. You can put it into your composition. I'm actually not super happy with the um, shape on this board. So let's go with a square. Okay, and get rid of that first one and find something that maybe fits in a little better. Okay. Another way to work with swatch is um, maybe rather than bringing in a, a um, accent color, maybe there's something in the board that you really wanna pull from. So again, you can open up your swatch maker, choose your color, and use this eyedropper. This is super exciting, because as we know, we all kind of pull our color inspiration from the world, right? We're always saving things that maybe have a color that we love that we'd like to recreate somehow. And this is a great way to do that. So once you've got the tone that you think uh, best matches your scheme, you can then adjust the shape, adjust the hex or RGB, we'll go with hex, and then add that to your board. So I'm gonna replace the blue one with the red. I think it tells a better story for this board. So we have our swatch and maybe you're feeling like, eh, it's not quite the blue that I wanted. If you select your swatch, you'll see down here your editing tools show up. You can choose swatch maker down there and you can edit the color. So you touch that and you can adjust the tone. I think I wanted a little more of a like an Eve Klein blue. So I kind of want that electric. I want it to be a little more electric. So I'm gonna adjust the color there, hit done, and your swatch should update. All right? Now, what's cool about this is that your swatches will also show up in your list. So some of you are familiar with the Ava feature. It's down here at the bottom. We have these tools that mean that everything you've brought into your board is now also in a cut sheet or excuse me, a, yeah, a spreadsheet and a cut sheet form. And your swatches will show up there too. 
So you might choose to take out the ones you weren't using, um, but your kind of swatch data stays in that realm as you export this to move forward with the project. Another place that you can put your swatches is you may want to open up your library. If you've kind of pulled a special color that you think uh, you might want to remember, maybe use on another project, you can drag that swatch over into your library and there you can start to build up maybe a series of your favorite neutrals or your favorite brights or whatever you want, you know, those things that you're, you're always going back to. Um, so all that work to kind of tweak and, and find your perfect swatch is not lost. It can move with you into other projects. So that's Swatchmaker. Have fun with it. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other how-to videos. Thank you.